Today in our old stamps, we're going to visit Japan. Alright, look at these two beauties, huh? Now these are both from the 1800s. 1876 to 1892. You have your SN1 and your V5. Of course the V5, you know, the blue one, has a little corner missing. But for something as old as this, my God, pretty good. You know, you're talking almost 150 years. I think that's pretty good. All right. So you have your one in green and your five in blue. Let me take you to the second group we have today. some nice ones here. Now the first one is a seven and that's from 1920 to 1937. On that beautiful red seven. And then the six kind of like an olive color and stuff. That's 1922 to 1949. Okay, then in our second row, we have a five in blue. Beautiful view of the mountain. It's always nice to see. Part of the land gives you a feel of the place a little bit better. Then you have your five dollars, which is the water. So you have the mountains, you got the water, and 40 for the building. So you get a little bit of each one right in here. Really neat. Love it. Okay, then we have our third group here. Look at that. So first we have our eight in the brown and white orange for a single fish of 35. A lot of times you'll see the one that has a two fish, but this was just the one fish. Okay, and then you have 45 in your blue. A little bit more of a closer view of the building. See how it kind of reflects in the water? Really cool. All right, now let me take you to the fourth group we have today. Now look at that. Okay, your first one in the red and white. That's a one and a half. It's 1926 to 1939. So that's a long span right there. And the same dates the second one, which is the six. And there you have a longer building with the stairs going down in a different shade of red. The other one was more like a burgundy, the first one. This is really a red. Then when you get in your second row, your four in the brown and white is 1949 to 1951. The 20 I couldn't find that one in the green. And then your purple and your 30. Now notice that that paper is very, very thin. Surprise, it's still going. And that's 1946 to 1947. So that might explain why very thin paper and perforation was not all around it. It was where they just cut it out. There you go. Glue it on. Alright. Hope you've enjoyed my bringing these to you. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend, and we'll bring you some more, whatever we find. Alrighty. Bye-bye now.